For the most part on aviation YouTube or most aviation blogs, you don't normally hear about the technology integrations that airlines and airports are integrating into their systems with the intent to better serve passengers and organize its operations. Today, airlines and even us as travelers often take it for granted we can now do certain things such as interacting with airlines via our mobile devices to do things like book travel, select our seats, and book additional travel options such as baggage allowance or our preferred seat on the aircraft. In return, this data exchange can allow airlines to better serve travelers while also improving their operations. While there are many advantages of the highly technical world we live in today, the aviation industry has become more open to cyber attacks resulting in data breaches of personal information, which while the airline may pay a heavy price, it also carries a heavy risk for travelers as well. For this video, I could have discussed some new aircraft orders, which I'm planning to do in subsequent videos, but I think this topic should be discussed more in the hopes that us travelers have more awareness of how our data is used by airlines and other travel related businesses. There is a saying that data is the new oil and it's definitely true especially in the aviation industry, which has been relying more on data acquired from traveler interactions while using websites and mobile devices. While booking information isn't necessarily new as some systems have been in existence since the 1970s and 80s, but nowadays these systems have expanded further with their capabilities and the ability to collect more information such as payment information, identification, frequent flyer information, and other onboard and pre-booked services and amenities. That the information is going to be expanded further as the International Air Transport Association and Global Airlines are stepping its efforts in the recovery following last year's aviation demand downturn due to the COVID-19 pandemic with the Travel Pass Initiative. This initiative would include your COVID-19 testing results and in some cases your medical clearance to fly. Other airlines such as AirAsia is looking to integrate more new technologies such as biometrics to identify travelers at the airport using a photo or a camera in lieu of a passport or an identification card. The data connection is expansive as nowadays with the airline alliances, other airlines are actively sharing data, especially those amongst the major airline alliances. There are many benefits to this as nowadays services and products could be personalized and this could include traveler promotions based on past travel history with an airline. This is a lot of data and in some cases is very sensitive and unless otherwise stated for the most part this should remain private and secured. However recently the security of airlines and their IT networks have been in question as there have been a string of cyber attacks and security breaches involving the aviation industry. In 2018 Cathay Pacific and British Airways announced their own data breaches with Cathay's affecting over 9.4 million customers. In 2019, Lion Air's Malaysia-based subsidiary Malindo Air reported a data breach caused by an ex-employee of a tech firm working for the airline. The personal data involved in this breach was released on the dark web. And then we get to the most recent data breach announced from the aviation IT firm SETA, which services various airlines throughout the world. These breaches are very troubling as now with the aviation industry becoming more technologically connected than ever before, the risks of our personal traveler data is always there. Then again, this is a problem that other businesses in other industries have been dealing with. While some airline companies do invest in their own IT departments, there is a substantial number of airlines who do outsource the IT work to other outside businesses. Despite this, for the most part, the airline is responsible for any data breaches, being the forward-faced company towards the passengers. So now we get to the point of what can be done regarding this issue. Airlines often do have their own protocols when it comes to IT security. While interacting with other businesses such as IT providers, it may be understandable. It may be more difficult for travelers to comprehend what kind of data and how our data is used and transferred. Case in point, often we do tend to overlook the privacy statements and the terms of use when signing up for websites or other services online. As travelers these days, it's inevitable that we will have to give up some information in order to access services and, and airlines are no different. When we do book travel, we do have to present certain information such as our names and payment information. If you're a frequent flyer, you may actually provide your frequent flyer number which some airline alliances can use to manage tier levels of membership that could allow you certain perks such as going to other alliance member airline lounges or special check-in counters for premium travelers. 
With all of that said, it likely will be the payment information you want to be most secured given the sensitive nature of it. Plus, you don't want that kind of information, including your credit card information, to go into the wrong hands. Breaches could happen and we shouldn't be really afraid of it, but understand the risk of what could happen. And often, the airline companies would pay a heavy toll, which could include a tarnished reputation and in some cases, legal consequences, depending on jurisdiction. A prime example of this is the European Union's General Data Protection Regulations which imposed financial penalties on both Cathay Pacific and British Airways for their data breaches, which had personal data of travelers from the European Union states. Travelers should understand these kind of data protection laws in your states or territories, or if you are in a jurisdiction that doesn't have any, you should suggest the idea to a politician of yours. This legislation, such as the GDPU of the European Union, covers other industries, not just the aviation industry. And it's actually good legislation to have given the current trend of being more connected in our world today. Along with that, I think travelers should also have a more better understanding of how the airlines use, collect, and share data to third parties. This could be done with a simple web page with information on the type of data collected accessible by the traveler to allow them to see how the data is used and if it is being shared with third parties. If it is being shared with third parties, the airlines could provide an explanation and possibly an option not to allow it, with the exception of being ordered by a court or law enforcement professionals. The industry of information technology is a very crucial one in the type of world we live in, as airlines are crucial in the ability to travel around the world. It's for that reason I think travelers should be aware of companies and how they deal with your data now and into the future. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.